There's a lot of rich history to celebrate over the last 70 years of WFMY News 2, and one special day is the day that Sandra Hughes started working here, and that day was July 24th, 1972. That is 47 years ago on this day. Just two years later, in 1974, Sandra made local TV history when she became the first African-American woman to host a program here on 2. Sandra remembers it as a trying time, but says she stayed persistent. I felt this overwhelming responsibility to do something that I wasn't sure what it was I was supposed to be doing. I had people on one side of the city in, in the black community saying, okay, since you're black, this should be a black show. Isn't that what this is going to be? Then I had people on another side of the community saying, you are black, but you are going to make this a show for everyone, aren't you? People didn't think that the time had come for a black woman to be doing a show by herself on television. We got bomb threats quite often. The show was on live every day at one o'clock, and for weeks and weeks, we would have someone call and say that there was a bomb somewhere on the set. Now, what that would mean was the guests would have to all be taken out of the studio, but I was determined to make this show work. Um, I wanted to make sure I was doing a good job and that people out there would eventually see that, so I would stay. That's where I learned to talk without stopping <laughs> because the guests would all leave and I'd have 30 minutes of show to fill, so I'd just sit there and talk and talk and talk and talk to make sure that show stayed on the air. And after a while, I think our viewers decided, well, you know, this person really is trying to be a person for all people, and they gave me a chance. She truly is a legend. Her determination paid off as Sandra became one of the most recognizable and beloved journalists in the triad. She earned the coveted Edward R. Murrow Award for her news reporting. In 2002, she was honored with the North Carolina Governor's Order of the Longleaf Pine. That is the state's top civilian honor. She was also inducted into the North Carolina Broadcasters Hall of Fame.